Welcome to Alumni Field. Again, I'm Thomas Wilkie, joined by my friend and colleague Isaiah and Nenny, as we are almost. That they eliminated from the playoffs in the last running season. Obviously, there was no year last year with the whole pandemic, but. This is definitely a team that the Windsor Lancers are hoping to get some a little bit of revenge against as Brock did eliminate them, like I said. This year has come off the boot of Michael Solomon. And on the other hand, the Windsor Lancers have fared the exact same as the Badgers, tying their first game one-to-one -one with the Guelph Griffins and then losing one to nothing to those aforementioned Griffins. And they're only Goal has come off the boot of Tanner Page. Piece of the game. There, yes, I you. do. Yes, I do. And uh, my first one is hold your own. Uh, Brock last game against Western, they played great defense for 80 minutes. And then in that last 10 minutes, you've seen Brock let up a little bit, which led into a Western goal, which was pretty devastating for. crucial at the end of the game you have to make less mistakes the defense still has to keep the pressure the offense still has to keep the pressure and the second uh, key the second last key is midfield creativity you know western really lacked uh, uh, they really locked brock down for the most part but the season came from michael solomon you know that midfield has to create more chances for him today as looking right away, and there's another one on goal that's easily stopped. The Badgers are coming off of a 2019 year that saw them go five, four, and three, I believe, and make that a. Clear by score four to three in added extra time. That was a fantastic game if you were there, if you don't remember that, as it was Jared. I believe it was uh, Jared Agumain, the former Badger star striker, scoring in a absolutely thrilling. On center back for the Badgers. A couple of people, there's Stuart Loop out there. He's gotten the midfielding with a Daniel Bukiati. That ball almost off some space here momentarily from Solomon, but he couldn't quite hold on to it. And Apple Ball will roll right on in on the Lancers goalkeeper today. That's Brandon Goudreau. You know, they, they kept Western at bay, a very explosive Western team at bay for 80 minutes. And um, that's just that was just really impressive to uh, sit here and watch. Uh, that was last uh, last week, Sunday, here at Alumni Field. And, you know, I'm just expecting a repeat performance. That, that whole game, they controlled the pace. They had possession. The defense, it was sturdy. So give me a re -performance, repeat uh, performance of that, and I think that Brock wins again today. Like you said, it was a tough game for the...
manager would say the same thing, Eric Van uh, Weizen. He said, it was an unfortunate result for Brock this evening. We were hoping for a bit better, but there were some good takeaways from today's game. Uh, that was on Sunday uh, when he was speaking to uh, the Brock reporter. But, you know, the, he was saying that. Uh, as we talked about it earlier in the women's game, fitness, you know, uh, these guys haven't played for uh, a year, you know, uh, OUA football for a year. And it's it's fitness that, that, that really just prevailed in that match and just, you know, uh, let that. It's May, the starting goaltender for the Brock Badgers today was Got out there easily to stop that. He had an amazing game last game, blocking that penalty in the first half of uh, last game against Western. And just so Fernandez goes straight out out of a Mustangs player, and Badgers will go fast, looking for Solomon. As we said, he scored the only goal of the year for the Badgers, tries to step over move. Tries to throw it out in front, and that ball will go all the way out. And I expect him to have a lot more. More opportunities, get him uh, chances to do more, you know, because in, in that game against Western, that offense, the offense was kind of stagnant. The passes weren't really getting anywhere. That's why I was talking about the midfield play, where you just get the ball to your strikers a little bit more, and you get them. got another throw in that ball gets switched up for Berardi Berardi he's got Cooney with him Berardi will hold on to it a forward pass intended for Tanner Page the starting striker for the Windsor Lancers today and you could just see how they're still you know it's still early but Brock is coming out again with the same game plan you know we're gonna play hard for 90 minutes we're gonna play hard and we're gonna beat you with our fitness you know uh we're gonna try and get the balls in you know they just play a very fundamental Windsor being content to control the ball on their own end and slowly move the ball on up that ball thrown in the middle for Otis Vakratisis. Vakratisis, that's a mouthful, that's for sure. And that's Conforton with the ball. Gives it off for Puentes. Puentes in the middle in search of somebody, but that ball is taken away quickly. Yeah, and that midfield play, you know, it's going to be something to watch. Through. We'll hand that one on off. Conforton, he's been all over the ball so far. Lays it back for Luke. In the middle, he hits Puentes. Puentes, he's starting at center mid for the Badgers today. You need more dynamic play coming from them. You need, um, that's what you, you see right there, just a little lapse of, uh, of concentration and just a bad pass from the midfield. And in deep, it's Victor Kariuki for the Badgers. He's starting at right. That pass and stop it. That will go off of uh, Lancers, and the Badgers will get the ball. We have a throw in just on our left. I'm liking the activity on defense, you know, jumping on all the 50-50 balls, really getting out there early in the game, you know, setting the tone early in the game. And Their own end. Now 
left back for them today is our Deeker. A couple of Badgers are up there pressing for that ball. Fuentes up there, as well as Solomon and Fernandez. Nice pull back there from the Badgers right winger and they'll continue to push that ball forward. I believe that Fernandez was the intended individual for that pass, but he couldn't quite get um, in this in their first two games they just have one goal and um, you know I just, I like seeing that as well, you know. I like seeing that matchup for Brock because we are a good def offensive, uh, defensive team, I'm sorry. It's just offensively, that's where the struggle lies. Even though we haven't really struggled like that, it's just, but that one goal. Aggress like that, you want to see more balls like that you want to see more opportunities like that because that's that's what turns into goals and it's just a good look early from Brock 10 minutes in as you say 10 minutes gone in this first half corner to be taken by Fuentes he'll put it into the middle someone looking for their head on it Solomon was hoping to get his foot on it but he His teammate, Sebastian Petrilli. And they've really been looking for Solomon in that, uh, wherever, the, uh, you know, where, whenever he's in the box, they've just been looking for him, looking to target him and looking to feed him early. You know, I, I feel like that's a um, focal point uh, from the manager before the game started, you know. Let's feed our number nine. Let's feed our striker. Let's get him more opportunities. him as well there was a nice square pass from Solomon Fernandez will go after that ball but Windsor's got possession of it on their own end there's a long pass intended for on his back for Tissus. but May comes out and with sure hands he'll hold on to it and that's what we're gonna see a lot from Windsor this game a lot of those uh balls through the air because this is a good Brock defense you know that midfield they hold their own that defense holds their to make a move into the middle it's Solon with a go Ooh. he hits the upright and a penalty's given and he's called a penalty it is yes. Solomon. and that's what i'm talking about the, the brock needs uh, Solomon to make opportunities you know put the ball in his feet and make him make a play you need your number nine to make plays for you but you don't you don't get that from him if you don't get the ball in his feet and that just goes from the midfield that four about 12 yards out and hammers it off the upright but unfortunately for the Lancers he also gets taken down in the process and it's going to be Alejandro Puentes on the spot kick for the Badgers hoping to make it one nothing and there we go and that's great to see from Brock early you know scoring early you know just 14 15 minutes gone here you know controlling the So, good things early from Brock. Good forward passing. A, a, a key to the game for winning was that midfield play. And that midfield play caused the goal, you know, opening up a goal and you're just seeing it work for them right now. So, Puentes has opened the scoring for the Badgers, much like how this first half went for the Brock women's team about an hour ago. They gave up their first goal of the game on a penalty kick. And the same thing has happened here, except it's the Badgers this time who have taken a one to nail lead on the penalty kick. Big moment there for the Badgers. Very big moment. Just because you're up 
one nothing early and it's, it hasn't been 20 minutes yet, you keep that pressure. You, you, you continue to, you know, uh, harp on all these uh, air, you know, the, these through balls through the air and just get your header in there, you know, put a body on every man, mark every man. You got to win this game. Has, has the goal for the Badgers. It is Solomon with the fantastic play in the offensive end to draw that foul. Yeah, and I knew he was going to be a focal point of this offense just because he's their number nine. And your number nine is, is he's uh, he's your, you know, your LeBron James back there. He's your facilitator, and you know, he's your finisher. And you need him to play well for Brock to win. You know, and I said it if if their number nine Solomon plays well. Brock will win. Yeah, and that's, it's something different, you know, like uh, that game against Western, the whole first half was very hard fought. It, it, you couldn't see a clear better team in that game, but here you just seeing a little bit of their defensive dominance most especially, you know, uh, Windsor just taking a lot of, um, you know, wild shots, wild attempts to get the, to move the ball forward. But Brock's been holding their own, and that's what they continue to do well and what they I see them going to continue to do well. That, that back line is very strong. As the heel hit comforts in. And he'll play it on back. Fantastic triangle action there for the Badgers as they pass it around in their own end and then will switch up the side. Badgers gave it away and promptly took it right back, then promptly gave it back. And now they almost take it away again, but a good clearance there as the Badgers get rid of their, clear their lines. And you know what that one, uh, that early goal gives them? It gives them a little cushion, you know, for a team that's uh, been struggling offensively, you know, struggling to put the, bat, uh, the ball in the back of the net. That's a real breather. And, you know, it just gives you a little bit more freedom and it gives you, uh, it, it lets you do a little bit more. It lets you want to do a little bit more. It gives you a little bit more confidence, right? That ball will go off to Chanty and out of play. He wanted a foul on uh, Paul DeMeo. Been doing the ref doesn't see it quite the same way that he saw it as Windsor will have the throw in deep in their own end. Uchianti takes his own man down and he again is not happy. Yeah, he should should be careful there, not say anything that the ref won't like to hear. Could be a yellow, but uh luckily the ref just lets it play on. He's been holding his whistle, he's been letting him play on tonight, which is great to see. Just you know, letting a little bit of physical play. You know Brock likes to play a little physical when it comes to the defensive side. He'll play it all the way across for Evan, back for Tassis. Fernandez almost was able to escape out of a tight situation, but good chance he's got in again for the Badgers. Fuentes, who has looked fantastic so far today. about it but it was so obviously a foul yeah and right there they just that's frustration right there Brock is just you know they're feeling the pressure a little bit and they thought they didn't make a mistake but you know when you make a mistake as a player and you just want to you know get yourself a breather you know that was just them getting themselves a breather because that's just frustration and they knew they made the foul there so with 27 minutes to go in this first half the Badgers have a free kick looking to add to their one goal lead on the penalty kick from Alejandro Fuentes A couple of players are behind this one. Solomon's there as well as Fernandez. Yeah, as they converse as who wants to take that. Solomon walks away. Oh, but I just want to see more opportunities like that. So 
with 27 minutes now to go. Free kick, well saved there by Brandon Goudreau. That ball was played out wide, intended for the Badger, Sebastian Petrilli. And Fernandez has got it again. Uh, no, I don't, he just got a foul right there, but that was, I feel like the Brock offensive player there is just trying to get his space, has no, nowhere to go, and he's just trying to get his space. Yeah, this, this, you could see the rivalry between Windsor and, uh, Plays it safe and simple. Out wide for Cooney. Cooney will stop up, pass it back. Solomon is bearing down on his man, Alessandro Berardi. But Berardi was able to keep a cool head and play that ball off. Lancers will play the advantage. Page coming in, and their advantage comes to nothing as Page was tackled well there. Now a Badgers player goes down. Badgers faithful are hollering for a foul. Yeah, I don't know. The ref's been holding his whistle a little bit more this game, which I like to see, you know, uh, gives the players a little bit more freedom with their, uh, you know, aggression. Even though it does, he, he lets it uh, get to a point where it's not too much, but it's good to see that the game isn't just uh, stoppage after stoppage after stoppage because that's what it would be if everyone wanted to cause that uh Everyone wanted to call every call that was on the floor or on the on the field, my fault. 20 minutes gone in this first half. Badger still up. You know that Brock is still, um, you know, attacking, getting their chances. You know that Windsor is struggling to get their chances. You just see Brock being the better team this whole game. Badgers will move it into the middle. That midfield throwing across for Conforton. Conforton, he's got Fernandez. Fernandez will throw it up for Solomon. Ooh. Solomon will have a go from a little bit of distance, but. Not bad. Not bad at all. Makes the save. That ball looked like it was good for a moment, but it just kind of swerved about halfway to the goal and came right in on Morrison. Yeah. Pardon me, uh, Drove. Yeah, on windy days, you have to have a little bit more power on the ball. It's a little windy here at Alumni Field. A little bit windy, but the weather is perfect oh, yeah, for perfect. soccer here tonight. Not too hot, not too chilly. Fantastic weather here yeah, in St. Just Catharines, right. just as the sun's setting, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful outlook on this first half. You know, Brock's winning. It's just, I'm in a great mood as well. You know what, I'm in a great mood too. <laughs> yeah. Advantage to the Lancers. Yeah, you see it right there. It's just more physical play being allowed by the referee for sure this game. As Tanner Page got stripped of the ball there. And now the referee will call a foul on him as he gets a bit too overzealous there and pulls his man down. And the Badger will have a free kick in the midfield. And that little bit of aggression comes from, like, these two teams not liking each other. And the refs know that. The refs understand that this game is going to be a little bit more chippy. And they can't have their mouths on the, on, the, on the whistle all game or they'll be blowing the whistle all game. So they have to let a few things go. That's why a few of these calls have been let go. Solomon could be in. Solomon almost had that ball, but it just died as soon as it bounced. <laughs> That's a handball. You're not allowed to do that still. But the ref let it play out. The referee decided that it was not a pass back somehow as it was almost yeah. on. Badgers faithful, Badgers uh, 
fans were not happy with that call, that's for sure. You know what it is? I think it just happened too quickly that the referee just, uh, maybe the vantage point that the ref was at, he just didn't see the play as we seen the play because he was behind the play. So uh, maybe he thought uh, uh, a touch was there or something. Fernandez ah. looking for Solomon. Beautiful Solomon's ball. got it. Pulls it down ah. and has a go, but he's going to be called offside. And those are the opportunities that need to be made. Those are, that's what Brock needs to do to continue to apply the pressure. They've been playing amazing, you know, getting the ball up in the, up in the field. You know, the forward movement has been some, something to watch from Brock in this first half. That ball will roll on out of play. So the Badgers, they have really been putting the pressure on the Lancers here today so far. That's for sure. And you could see it also on the, like, it's it's not been more uh, defensive because they've really controlled the pace of, the, just just controlled the whole possession of the game. I, I, Windsor has rarely touched the ball this half. And when they did, it's just a defensive onslaught from Brown. And he goes down, and referee. Yeah, he just went down on his own right there. Nice pass, though. Looking for Fernandez again. Fernandez has looked menacing on several attacks so far today, but that ball will go all the way out across the road. As we wait for that, I, I said it. Um, you know, that attack for Brock, you know, the, the progression of the balls that Brock is going to get, the... Uh, the play that it's all going to be, uh, you know, the the win for Brock all matters on that midfield play and how they forward pass it because they defend well. They just don't create as many opportunities as they would want for themselves. Uh, mistake made by that right. Windsor. Ooh, nice move. Fuentes just deked him out of his undies for a moment. And Ooh. there's a shot that just Ooh. goes high as that Fuentes was. nutmegged his man and handed it off for Solomon. And Solomon tried to one-time volley it. That would have been a beauty. Unfortunately, it hits the upright of the uh, rugby post just behind the soccer goal. Nah, I'm, I'm liking the way that Brock's playing tonight, though. Just everything, just... And and having that early goal uh, just gives them a lot more freedom on the offensive side where they're just letting a lot of these, you know... Early lead has kind of given them some freedom to work with and be sort of imaginative, if you can put it. Max Cooney is uh, content to let that ball roll out, and Windsor will retain possession of the ball. There's a cross Ooh. in the middle that just barely gets headed away. Confortin will go racing after it, and he does a good job of getting that ball on out. Well, something that I've just seen, like, uh, you just don't see the ball for Windsor be up here for long when they, when they get it up here. It's just, Brock just makes them feel so much pressure that just making decisions too early, and those early decisions are just bad decisions, you know, and it's just turnovers and... That's what Brock defense does well, and it's good to see that, you know, they're still doing it well tonight. Windsor holding it in their own end. There's a long pass intended for Page. And it gets snuffed out. But the Badgers again taking it and looking menacing right away. Fernandez hands it on off, but he gave that pass right away. Windsor will take the ball back and start from their own end. having a game for himself isn't he he's just been everywhere when it comes to the offensive ball like the pressure he applies when he loses the ball or when the ball is lost by Brock is something you can't teach an offensive player that's just uh, wanting to win you know the will to win you know hunger to win you know going out and getting that ball and you know making another another play for Brock is something you can't replace no nice ball in that ball still somehow there but like you said Solomon has looked lethal and deadly whenever he gets anywhere near the ball so Badgers are definitely going to be using that to their 
advantage today. And as you say, when he plays well, this team is more than likely to win. Yeah, yeah, you know, because they're just making better decisions when he's playing well. They're making better decisions when he's making better decisions, and their offense just looks better because their defense is already so good, right? 15 minutes to go in this first half. Badgers lead on a penalty kick from Alejandro Fuentes. That was manufactured by Solomon. He made a couple of nice moves, got taken down as he hit the post. Yeah, he was even uh, close to scoring a goal there as well. Oh, 15 minutes, 16 minutes left in the half, sorry. And I just want to I want to see Brock continue that defensive pressure as they are doing right now, you know. These are attack. what a good team does you know that's that's how you win games you you get your, your your attackers to apply pressure as well give your defenders some time to breathe Solomon makes a nice move and he'll nice Travella pass. pass that all the way over for Conforton that was impressive yeah Conforton beautiful pass still got it he'll drop it on back interesting play there from Daniel Buccianti as he tried to almost run that ball right through his man yeah. <laughs> nah but Number nine on uh, number nine Solomon's just really impressed me. You know, he's just been everywhere. He even drops back a little bit on on onto the midfield to, you know, sometimes make those beautiful passes like you did see. It's just it's just a thing to watch tonight. Nice. he has got it again. He was looking for Solomon, but that pass has too much mustard on it, and he couldn't quite corral it. And Western will try to bring it on that left side. The defensive pressure has been amazing from Brock. A key to the game that they've been keeping, you know. Uh, the two keys to the game, they only needed two. They played great against Western. It's not like they had a bad game against Western. Played great against Western, just bad luck at the end. You know, have some luck on their side tonight, and they're up one nothing with 14 minutes left to go in the half, still creating pressure, still creating chances to get another one. And the Badgers will now start from their own end as they pass it around and switch up the field. Conforton, he has looked fantastic playing more of a left wing back, I would say, sort of rolled and just left back. As we've seen them go on some serious runs up that left side, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think that's something Brock likes to do. You know, their right and left back, you know, uh, bring them up with the attack because they have a little bit of pace, you know, and that also helps back on the counter attack when they, when they need that defensive stops, you know, just have the two defenders already up there with them. And the Badgers starting on up. Stuart Loops got the ball. Conforton is with him. They've been a good duo on defense so far today. Nice pass in the middle for Buccianti. It's been a chippy first half. You know, these guys have been fighting for every ball. They haven't really... I like to see it, you know. I like to see even both teams, even though Windsor's uh, losing, they've their fight. You know, it's it's been seen. You know, they're not letting up. They're they're continuing to attack. They're continuing to, uh, you know, make passes that you know make plays that will be uh, helpful for them. You know, to tie up the game, to equalize the game. It's been a great game so far. Windsor looking for a way to break the Badgers' defense here with a few minutes to go, and that ball is missed badly, and the Badgers have some room to move on up, but Fuentes steals that ball. He could have some room. Fuentes hands it off for Fernandez. Fernandez looking to make a move. He'll throw it on out wide. Conforton speeding down that left side. He's not going to be able to get to it, unfortunately, as it looked like uh, Fuentes had a chance to really have a go there from 25 or so yards. Yeah, he did. He did. You know, he just let it up for a low pass and, uh, you know, uh, thought he was making a better decision in the end. More opportunities to come. Just keep applying that pressure and get those opportunities open up for you.
and that's something I'll, uh, something else I, I also wanted to see from Brock. You know, uh, like I said, the long ball is something Windsor would use all game. You know, amazing against in the game against Western as well for that. You know. Uh, first 80 minutes we could say before that equal uh, before that late winner went in but you know this game I just see that back line holding it up for them you know uh, barring anything special or barring anything oh nice ball up front yes yes number nine ah he was offside ah. but that just the, just that forward play you know that that progression of play from Brock is just great to see. Great to see that they're having a little bit more fluidity in that midfield, a little bit more fluidity in that attack. You're seeing the passes get somewhere. You're seeing the, the you know, the setups uh, come, you know, and, and make something happen. You know, we, we already have a goal. I'm, I, I feel like I could get another. I feel like Brock can get another. Windsor can get another. I, I don't think we're done with goals today. As Page makes a couple of moves on that far left side for the Lancers. Lancers trying to get something out of this first half as they trail by one with 10 minutes to go. A really, really a harsh Ooh. challenge that somehow does not we'll get call. called. Yeah, that's just the left, right, left, uh, the ref right there just playing it on. You know, he sees the low chippiness between the two teams and he's been. If anything, he had his studs up very clearly. Yeah, for sure. But somehow that's a foul. As a player has gone down for the Lancers, that looks like it is Evan Vakritasis. That's something to watch as well. But, you know, obviously, maybe it's just uh, his point of view as well for the ref, you know, that maybe he just didn't see it in the same point of view as us. But hopefully he just, you know, the, those calls will be made when they need to be made. Good tackle there by Stuart Loop. As he almost gets done there, but he does well to shield it off. And Confortin throws it up for Solomon. Solomon, he'll stop on up. Tries a back heel that almost worked, but the Lancers player saw that coming and was having nothing to do with that. And, you know, this whole, this whole half has just been dominated by... this style of play where it's just pressure 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 and you know uh, almost lost the ball in the back end right there but it's just pressure 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 and you know it'll result into a goal and that's that's what Brock has done today and you know hopefully they continue to do it in the second half and continue to do it in the rest of the season having someone like Solomon up there as your number nine is uh, great for your creativity you know push up the ball make goals make opportunities make things happen for himself Loop will play it on back. Badgers playing catch in their own end. Garuki. He'll hit his man, Petrilli, up on the right side. Petrilli. He'll throw it on back. Badgers with some nice one touch passing here, being content to patiently wait out the Lancers to tire out or open something out as Badgers player seems to have gone down very, very easily. Referee. Seems to have seen it the same way, and he doesn't call a foul. But a fantastic tower. Pardon me, uh, tackle there from Loop again. Fernandez there gets done by Berardi. Berardi plays it quickly to Agapinto. But he gets tackled, and that will go to the Badgers as that ball goes off of the opposing number 10 and out of play. And that defensive pressure, you know, it's good to see that they've you know, kept it, you know, um, throughout this whole 45 minutes, even though it's just the first half and there's just still another uh, half to go. That defensive pressure was a little lax towards the uh, end of the first half against Western. And Continue with it for that 90 minutes, you know. Continue. Uh, it'll cost some wins. 
Well done there by Windsor to keep that ball on in. But they're going to get a corner kick out of it with six minutes and change to go in this first half. Badgers, like you said, have been the better team in this one. The only real offensive chances that Lancers have had so far have been, you know, just kicking the ball up and hoping that someone gets on the end of it, which they have done successfully a few times to their mm -hmm. credit. But Badgers defense has done a fantastic job of being very calm and cool under pressure. Yeah, it's not something you can sustain for 90 minutes, you know, just kicking the ball up there and just hoping you could get a, a nice result. First, you'll get tired and you'll get discouraged because he, that's a ba nice back line that, that they're not letting just easy passes through, you know. You have to find a little bit more creativity to get those passes through, whether it be, you know, uh, switching the ball off from the right to the left in the midfield or you're, when you're attacking, you're just uh, doing a little bit more tiki-taka, open up a little bit more passing lanes, you know, a little more uh, uh, shorter passes, you know, get uh, advance the ball different types of ways. But this Brock defense isn't something that you can just easily penetrate. They have to work a little harder if you're Windsor for to score an equalizing goal. Well done in the air by the Badgers. But the ball is promptly taken away by Windsor and the ball will come all the way down on May. Manufactured by Solomon, who made a couple of nice moves in the offensive end before being taken down. Fantastic battle there by the Badgers, and they'll take that ball away. That pass there over to the right side, however, intended for Petrilli was not a fantastic one. As the Badgers will lose possession, and Windsor will start bringing it back the other way. Windsor still got it in the Badgers' end. There's a pass in the middle, intended for Page, I believe it was, and he just puts that ball wide. And that was the first real uh, opportunity that Windsor's had all game. At the end of the first half, it's, you know, something I, you know, that um, Brock just needs to watch on, you know. Uh, hopefully that doesn't continue where Windsor's just getting opportunity after opportunity here to end a half because they've played such an amazing half, and especially defensively, not even talking about offensively, but just holding their own back there. ball in the air but a fantastic tackle there by Concorton you know just keeping the pace you know helping Brock just get back in get back in place yes nice D and they're gonna call it ah. Windsor ball as I guess the ball had rolled on the play and Badgers faithful over to our right not happy with that call yeah uh, you know fans haven't been very too happy with all the calls been called today but you know we're still up one nothing something to be happy about. Free kick to be taken by Thomas Saba for the Lancers. The referee will blow play down, didn't like something he saw in the box, telling somebody to stop doing what they're doing as the two number 10s going at it. Yeah, just told him to calm down. Ooh. That ball looking for the man closest, but I don't think that cross was exactly everything he would have liked. Yeah, it's getting a little snippy here. Everyone's just a lot of bodies on the floor now and a lot of, you know, just fatigue rolls into, uh, uh, factors into that a little bit as well. Just, you know, players not wanting to make those hard challenges anymore. And it's just, but you know, hopefully Brock could uh, continue to keep that defensive pressure that's kept them uh, with this 1-0 lead throughout this whole game. Going. That's an easy save for May. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't too bad of a free kick. Had a little bit of direction, but at the end, nothing there. Did well to get it up and over the wall, but apart from that, it's an easy stop for May. Unfortunate giveaway in the middle, and again, the Lancers player going down. Lancers have started going down very easily here uh, at the end of this first half. Yeah, and, and I feel like that one right there is just a, a call to, even though that player went down, that Lancer player went down even a little bit easier than his uh, other teammate over there, I feel like that one was just uh, an advantage call given by the ref, just 
you know, play on. He's been playing. He's been telling them to play on our game. You know, it's snippy. It's a little aggressive, and he's liking that. That ball comes right in on May, and goalkeeper of this caliber will have no problem with that. It's Puentes, the goal scorer of today. He'll hand it off for Fernandez. Uh, that pass just a bit too far ahead of him. Conforton is able to knock it down and hand it off to his center midfielder, and the Badgers will continue to be very good under pressure so far in their own end. Because the Lancers have been, I would say, the better team in the last 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, it's... And, and and you're just waiting till the, the whistle, you know, blows for the half. And as we go into extra time, that's, that time's coming close. So we've got, a, got about a minute of time left on the clock, along with whatever added stoppage and injury time the referee decides to put on as Badgers are able to clear their lines. But you see it's a lot of um, Brock playing on the defensive foot for these last five minutes. It's good that they're just, you know, clearing it out here and just letting the ball be up in the front, even though nothing's gonna come out of it. It's good that it's just not on their end of the field anymore. Solomon does a good job battling for that ball. Referee's checking his watch a couple of times. Got to assume we'll be hearing that whistle at any moment now. Yeah, not a lot of stops in the half to make it an overly long extra time. The referee will blow play down. He checks his whistle again. And just, you know, uh, as Brock continues and we're trying to, like, before the second uh, first half is done and before the second half, you know, you're just looking at the midfield play of, of Brock and how that improves. there in the second half against the Western game. Uh, hopefully that just continues uh, to be as strong as it's been in this first half. You know, not a lot of through balls being let in. You know, uh, Windsor has to find different ways to get the ball, move the ball forward, it, if that be through the air. You know, even though the 50-50 balls in the air have been going through Brock's favor most of the time, Brock's really just dominated this first half. And, you know, for them to continue to do that in the second half, will be, uh, we'll, we'll have to see, to be honest. And there it'll be as the referee We'll signal the end of the first half. So it was a fantastic first half for the Badgers. The only blip was a bit of a momentum shift in favor of the Lancers for the last five, 10 minutes of this half. But at the end of it, the Badgers are leading by a score of one to nothing after a fantastic couple of moves in the Lancer end by M Michael Solomon before he gets taken down. And Fuentes was there to convert the penalty and make the Badgers stake them out to a one nothing lead. What did you see in that first half that really intrigued you there? Uh, what really intrigued me was, you know, uh, something that's obviously not uh, not as obvious as the defense, which was amazing in that first half for Brock. But just uh, number nine, Solomon, you know, he, he he was everywhere for Brock. You know, he was in the midfield making passes up up forward, and then he was he was up in you know just doing everything that we needed to do in the attack. You know, some of the things that we lacked in that Western game, that creativity up for that number nine. You know, he's showing it today, and he's showing why he's uh, Brock's number nine today. You know, being able to uh, just create for himself is something that I wanted to see today, and he did. And uh, just continue to see that in the second half. Really been dominating in the attacking end, you know, really hard to cover. Hopefully that continues. So at the end of the first half, the Badgers are leading the Windsor Lancers by a score of one to nothing. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a few moments for the start of the second half.
Dear student athletes, it's been quite a while since we last saw you in action. run since you gave it your all out on the field knowing full well what that effort could yield like buzzer beaters game winners and championship glory like a picture-perfect ending to your university story it's been a while since there were school colors to don and far too long since the sports you love have been gone for good reason as you anxiously await the start of the season when last year was not to be and your sport you could not play we know you were counting down to this long awaited day so after an emotional year that left you no choice but to persevere the time for a triumphant return is finally here the page on that extended hiatus to get back to the passions that will forever elate us and as the saying goes it's always darkest before the dawn but after 18 gloomy months we can finally say game on Ontario University Athletics has more than 4,000 female student athletes getting into the game. Some are playing for the little girl in the stands, aspiring to be a varsity. Then the labels of gender. Many females, however, see their sport journey end during adolescence. For those who continue on, varsity athletics offers opportunity. It offers community. It's a means to not only continue your dream on the court, but excel beyond it. Because some student athletes may be looking to become Olympians and world champions. Some may see their passion for playing turn into a call for coaching. And some may aim to transform their athletics into prominent positions beyond the sporting world altogether. But for whatever their motives or goals, it's important to have the means to pursue them. It's important to feel like you can inspire the little girl in the stands compete with your teammates, and break Thomas Wilkie joined by Isaiah NNE, my friend and colleague. We are almost set for the second half kickoff between the Brock Badgers and the Windsor Lancers as the Brock Badgers are carrying a 1-0 lead into this second half, a half that they were fantastic in, especially a couple of their forward players. Michael Solomon, of course, manufactured their goal. He drew that foul in the uh, 
Lancer's penalty area, as well as Michael Fernandez has looked fantastic for them as well. And yeah, just speaking on Michael Solomon and you know what he's been doing on his team. I spoke uh, before the half was done, and you know I just want to see uh, them hit him again. You know them uh, use him as the central playmaker again. You know your number nine makes opportunities and makes plays for you, and he made plays for them in the first half. You know, and you know that's something that Brock needed coming into this game. You know, needed uh, some a playmaker that could create goals. Uh, create opportunities for goals, you know, because that's something that they really not lacked but needed more of this year, you know, only scoring one goal this season. So um, having that first goal in the first half was very promising, you know, something, you know, just weight lifted off their shoulders for the whole team, I know. And uh, just coming in and I'm going to just see a more free uh, Brock team in the second half for sure. Badgers have made a couple of uh, changes. They took Fernandez off and brought in Andrew Baldwin as well as bringing in Mark Ian Tomasi instead of Daniel Buchanti. But nothing too serious, I wouldn't say. Yeah, and um, especially after, you know, not, you know, losing to uh, Western here uh, last week. You know, on that late winner, uh, you know, just hearing the words from Nolan Bossetti, the captain, number three, Nolan Bossetti, you know, saying we fought as a team offensively and defensively for all 90 minutes, leaving it all on the field and just falling short of the win we felt was in reach. That desire to win ev uh, uh, the game and every play will help us for the upcoming games. And it's definitely helped them today. You know, you could just see the desire for them to win their uh, getting on every through ball. They're not letting anything through their back line. That, that back line has been very strong. And, you know, the, the opportunities that they've created for themselves, you know, uh, with that attack have been impressive. You know, the passes they've made today have been impressive. And I, I want to see more of that from Brock in, in, in the second half, you know, continuing to keep that pressure on because... Uh, defensive front that you've had, you know, where you're pressuring everything and continue attacking offensively. Good, Jer, the job there by Petrilli, but he was stripped of the ball there well by our Deeker. Windsor has not played too bad of a game either. They, they have been on the back foot for the majority of the game, I would say, but, you know, they have had some pushback. Yeah, for sure, you know, and uh, it's just it's just looked worse than it is because of that Brock defense snuffing out everything they get you know but Windsor's been getting their opportunities they've they advanced the ball well they they pass the ball well it's just not all clicking for today that ball is going to be called out in favor of the Badgers and throwing at the halfway point Declan Conforton who was all over the ball in that first half he looked fantastic playing that left wing back for the Badgers. Mm -hmm. Solomon tries a bit of a swim move on his man there. Almost seemed to work, but nothing doing as. Job by Aiden Boast. Part of me, uh, Alex May, to come out and take that ball. But you see, that's not something that happened a lot in the first half, and that's just something that's just a little bit because of lax. Uh, oh, there's a bad foul is there on, on Windsor right there. But that's just lax, lax defensive pressure allowing that that cross in and this early in the half as well. So I want I want to see Brock, you know, continue to have that defensive pressure from the first half where they just didn't allow much of those balls. You know, you didn't even see a ball go in get into the middle of the box, you know, where the keeper had to dive out for a save like that in the first half. So I want to see Brock continue with that defensive uh, prowess and defensive uh, pressure that they've had all game long. And the Badgers will continue to press forward. An obvious handball there out in front, but the referee again doesn't call it down. Badgers have not been happy with the referee so far today.
especially because of the way calls have been going. But, but we got a penalty call, so we're all right with it. The Badgers will take that throw in on that far left side. Mm. Solomon's got it again. Mm. He's throwing it in the middle again, looking for Petrilli. He's been the target a couple of times today. There's a pass off from Baldwin, as I believe he was looking for Petrilli as well, but Lindsay are doing a good job to shut those passes down and block off those passing lanes. Fuentes will throw it all the way out for Petrilli. Throws it back for Kariuki. His pass is an errant one. And bringing it on up was Thomas Saba, but he gave that ball away and couldn't quite keep it in. And that's something I hope we don't see a lot, you know, just lax passes that lead into turnovers because when you're racing explosive teams or teams that like to run and get out on front, and if, you, like, you're playing a team like Windsor and that likes to run and get out on front and you get a bad pass like that, especially with just three men back there, it's a little dangerous. They could get a counterattack on there like that. Unfortunately, made his man need a map for a second there, but... Seems to have found his mark. That ball squirted into the middle for a second, and Solomon looked like he could grab it, but it was just behind him. And a nice wide pass here for Deeker, who couldn't quite handle the ball. And that's what I'm talking about when I mean when you verse teams like Windsor that like out that like to get out and run, you can't make mistakes like that where they're getting the turnovers uh, to get these balls, you know, and get out and run because you know mistakes turn into goals. And when you're up on nothing and you're playing a great game like Brock, you don't want to make a mistake turn into a goal, especially when you're having a good game like this, right? Solomon looks like he took a bit of a chop from the defender Max Cooney. Pardon me, no, that's uh, Dominic Campana who took a chop at him, but the referee's going to call an offside against the Badgers. And Winston's coming out here uh, in this second half with a little bit more sense of uh, sense of urgency, you know. Uh, Winds are not winning a game this season as well, so they, 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 they are in the same similar po uh, position as Brock. Uh, you know, I think they, I believe they're all one and one uh, for the season. So, you know, them, them just having that record, you could just see the sense of urgency on the field that, like, we need at least one point coming out of here because can't take another loss. We're, we're already, you know, already don't have that one, you know. And Brock, Brock's just, they're, they're getting out there. Offensively, they're getting out there. They're getting the chances, but too many offsides. It's getting out there a little bit. That pass is not a good one as it comes right to the Badgers in the middle. And there's a chip pass that almost could have been an absolute beauty for Solomon, but not quite. Fuentes will throw it back. Great job there by Stuart Loop as he beat a couple of men, but good job by the Badgers to retain the ball as they could have some numbers coming forward. A couple of moves in the midfield. And they'll continue to move it on. Solomon has that shot go off for somebody. Badgers moving on forward. Baldwin going after it now on the offensive end. And, and I want to oh, oh, sorry. Pardon me. The Badgers will retain possession on the throw-in. Yeah, sorry. I, I just wanted to see. I want to see Brock's midfield get a little bit more fluid right now. They are a little stagnant. Ball is not moving a lot. Not moving as much as it did in the first half. Where you just seen players moving around the field and you just seen plays happen before it happened, you know, and that's 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 what Brock needs to continue to do. Just keep moving, keep moving the ball. Not let all these counter attack opportunities happen for Windsor. Fuentes has got it in the midfield. He'll continue to corral and throw it on back for May.
Uh, I mean, you know, that's just a little frustrating as an offensive player. You know, even though you're offside, you feel as if you should get the benefit of the doubt once in a while from the referee. It's just been a lot of pushing in the back, a lot of physical play in, in, in you know, Solomon's way, especially because he created such an early chance. So they've really been targeting him and said, OK, not this guy. He's not going to he's not going to beat us. Anybody else but this guy, you know, putting a body on him makes it harder. Ooh. There's a shot in that one, just whistles wide as Solomon let one fly from 25 yards out and just put it wide right. Man, yeah. that would have been a beauty. Yeah, he would have loved to put that one in. He would have just went crazy. I think the crowd would have gone just as crazy if that one had gone in. What yeah. a fantastic effort there from Solomon. That would have been a beautiful goal. Sun is just setting now here in at Alumni Field as the floodlights are now on. and. Temperature has dropped a little bit. Yeah, it's getting, uh, sorry. Pardon me, the Badgers faithful on that right side are letting the Lancers hear it. And a smart play back for May. May, he throws it all the way up and that it ball will roll all the way out. And I, th I feel like I feel as if the you know he he realizes uh, that his back line is uh, starting to get a little bit more tired now, so he's just getting the clearances out there and letting the offense do the work with. Who's been sewered by being put down on that left defense? right in front of that big crowd of Badgers fans. And this is just beautiful to see. You know, that's a midfielder creating that pressure, looking like he's a center back, you know? And then that creates the opportunity for Brock. It's, even though nothing came out of it, that opportunity was still created. And, you know, that's just what you do as a team to win games, because not every opportunity is created off just the offensive side. You have to create some of these opportunities yourself. As he gets a little chippy here. Deeker puts the ball out, and somehow the Lancers come up with the ball. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I don't know. Maybe the ref needs to start seeing things at a different angle. It's been, a, it's been an interesting, some interesting calls he's been calling. Badgers moving it in the middle. Baldwin, Fuentes, mm. he's looking for Solomon. Mm. Solomon, flag stays down. Solomon. He's got a couple of men with him. Baldwin nice. on that left side ah. goes down hard. They're playing the advantage the referee will. Right. right in on goal and Goudreau is there to make the save. I know the referee wasn't trying to give uh, Brock, you know, two penalties in, in one, uh, you know, one game today. Just that was just him holding the whistle and just giving Windsor the benefit of the doubt. But that was a foul right there. You know, that was two fouls in the box right there. You know, it's hard for a referee, though, but uh, I feel like a penalty should have been called right there. That was it. I feel like that should have gone Brock's way. A uh, heck of a close play in the Badgers end is it looked like two Badgers players got taken down in the penalty box, but. The referee did not quite see it the same way. Yeah, you know, he's just been holding his whistle a little bit. Twelve minutes gone in this second half. Badger still holding on to that one nothing lead. Ryan Tomasi will go into work on that far side. Almost makes a beautiful play around his man, but the ball will unfortunately roll out of play, and Badgers really, really pressing. Yeah, they're they're applying that pressure really hard right now. You know, they're really showing that, you know, the fitness isn't a problem this game. You know, and that's a good thing for them to do as well, just as, you know, the players get a little chippy here. No, nah, it's a good thing for them. chance of the Lancers getting on the end of it and a dangerous end. Baldwin mm. with a nice chip around his man. He'll continue to try to go to work. Nice pace. Beautiful pace here from Baldwin on that left side. 
plays it back for Conforton. Conforton will try to put it into the middle and well out there by Berardi. You can't help but feel something is coming, right? It's just a lot of forward attacking from both of these teams, just all out right now from both of these guys. Solomon with a fantastic run coming down this right side. How's ah. it go? But he was way off balance and couldn't quite get the handle on it. Yeah, he didn't even have his head up on that play. I feel like he felt some pressure because Windsor's been given that pressure, you know, to Windsor's benefit. They've been given that pressure throughout this whole first half. So, I, and, and especially to Solomon where he would just feel that pressure, that imaginary pressure. Okay. And that's that's what that's that's good for defense to have. You know, that's a uh, that's a breather for the defense. It could have turned a, a whole different way, but just because they played with that pressure throughout that whole uh, first 15 minutes or so of the game, uh, they got a little break. As Windsor comes down on the Brock's end. Oh, crossing, but nobody's there. And the Get a clearance. Just take the ball away on that right side. Forward over and over and over, and they've been stifling the Lancers in the defensive end. Yeah, and uh, oh, oh, Solomon again, <sighs> and he just puts it wide left. Solomon, ah, and he's pleading and saying that a, a Windsor player touched the uh, had a deflection on that, but he's just getting the opportunities, he's getting the chances. You feel like he's gonna get a goal, you just feel it coming. You know, he has the you know, that was very, very close opportunity. Maybe if it wasn't as windy as it is today, maybe it would have been a goal. As Solomon continues to go to work in the offensive end in a so-called four-checking role right now as the Badgers continue to press in the Windsor zone. Half an hour to go in this second half. That ball gets put forward and the Badgers will get to it easily and just put the ball out of play quickly to keep things safe. But my question with that style of play where you're just kicking the ball up and hoping your offensive player gets, like your attacker gets gets onto the ball, like that he has more pace than the defender to get onto the ball is, it's kind of a risky type of uh, style of play because your your attackers are going to get tired quickly as well. It's the, the, the Windsor attackers have been chasing after passes all game and I, I wonder when they're going to start getting tired and you're just going to start seeing that fatigue show. It's almost what we saw with the Brock women's team earlier today. The other day. One does up for Comforton. Comforton with a nice turn in his own end, plays it back. Loop. He's able to hit that one on up. Well done on the air, Badgers. Again, making sure that Windsor has nothing. Mm. Page will go uh, after it, and he couldn't quite corral it. That was a lucky break there by the defense. You know, he the the, the Windsor player just lost sight of the ball. Whoa. And he called a foul against Solomon. Um. Yeah, that was a weird call, honestly. It's been a very weird game. As the Badgers could have numbers now. As Balden now has got it. Balden making a few moves. Balden still throws it out wide. It's Solomon. Oh, Solomon nice with cross. a cross attempt. Oh! For Conforton. Conforton ah. couldn't quite get everything on that ball. Fantastic look from Solomon, however. The, those, the, the, the chances have been there. The, he's created chances over and over again. You know, I just feel something coming, uh, like for Brock, and you know, the offensively they just you keep pushing, and you'll get something. And hopefully, you know, these last 28 minutes they keep pushing, they'll get something. Yeah, you know this. This, this game, this whole team has just played very, very strong. You know, every single position has just, they held their own, you know, coming off that disappointing one, uh, one nothing loss to Western. And you see a resilience from this team and you see a fight from this team to get back up uh, as Western, uh, Windsor, sorry, tries to push up the ball. And 
they'll continue to do so as the Badgers will try to stifle them again. Robinson with his first touch of the ball is a good one up for Solomon. Solomon's got it on the right side, one-on-one -on -one with his uh, man, and he couldn't quite get, I don't think he got everything on the ball that he would have liked to, but nah, Badgers yeah. will have that throw in. Yeah, there he was just trying to get a little bit uh, cheeky and get a little creative with it. You know, he's been a little cheeky all game. That that one just didn't work. Not enough power on that uh, Ronaldo chop, back heel Ronaldo chop. Balled in, on to Massey. On to Massey. Fuentes. Fuentes goes down a little hard, but Badgers continue to push. Robinson's there as well. There's a pass in the middle, which is an errand one, and Stewart Loop easily can get to that ball. Yeah, and that just, there's, that a, really sh oh, sorry. Me, there's a shot that goes well wide. Yeah, that, that just proves what I was saying about Windsor. The, those passes, you know, just passing the ball up and getting an uh, offensive player to do something. You know, that's not, I don't I, I don't see it as a sustainable game plan. You know, obviously it looks like the forwards are tired. Unless you're substituting forwards, uh, it doesn't make sense. And Deeker goes down quite easily, but they will call the foul on him. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Tackle there from the Badger yeah. center back. He's got to call it a hand. I mean, damn. As again, another questionable call from the referee. It goes against the Brock Badgers. The thing is, though, it did touch the back of, like, the back of his hand. Well, not his hand, the back of his arm, actually. So that so should those, have been. Those ones that's a real gray area these days. Where yeah. It's ball to hand, hand to ball. You know. The ref just, yeah. Since he was on the ground in that position, they're going to. Call it a hand, yeah. Robinson does well in the air. Deeker. Ah. Just runs his man over. And that has to be a card. Frustration and fatigue and everything just coming at it. And he's just going for the ball. He just sees reds when he's looking up. But, but yeah, that's definitely resulting into a yellow card as, you know, Brock player staying down. But hopefully he's fine as the medical staff comes out. But. Yeah, you know, that's just a dangerous play, not a play that you make right there. Deeker was getting into it a little bit with the uh, Badgers faithful, and I think he wanted to, you know, show them who's boss, shall we say, and takes down a player in a multiple position. Yeah. He has shown a card. Yeah, you know, in rivalry games, there's always this chippiness, and, you know, there's been that chippiness in the air tonight, you know, between these two both teams. Uh, just a lot of aggression, a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, you're not gonna win. I'm not gonna win. You know, not not backing down. A lot of pride on the line for these two teams today. Yes, he'll be. It looks like he may stay in the game. However, yeah, he looks good. Coming back into the play. Hmm, hopefully he's all good. Took a hard challenge. <laughs> a very hard challenge and glad to see that he's walking by himself and he seems to be okay. Hmm. But as 23 minutes are left, I just want to, uh, I just want to, I want to continue uh, Brock, I want to continue seeing Brock play with the type of focus and type of poise and control that they have all game. They've really controlled the whole possession of the game. Uh, can't be making passes like that where it's just sloppy. But they've controlled the possession of the game and they've controlled the whole game. And they just, when when time goes down, that's, that's when you start seeing the fatigue hit and that's when you don't want to see, you know, the mistakes being made at, at the end of the game, especially when you're up on nothing and these guys are trying to get an equalizer. So hopefully, you know, that defensive stand, that defensive pressure is kept throughout the whole uh, 22 minutes that are left now. May will take that free kick deep in his own end, looking for someone on the end of it in the Lancers end. Ball 
Baldwin did well to get onto it. Shanty Baldwin. Did absolutely nothing wrong. He went in for a 50 50 ball hard. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, that is a ridiculous call by the referee. I'm sorry. Yeah. Trying to be impartial, but a ridiculous call by the referee to show him a <laughs> yellow card. Yeah, I don't know about that one. And it's been the ref, it, it, it's, it seemed to be that the ref was letting a lot of these 50 50 balls go because when it's a Brock player on the other end of that where he's on the floor, that, that just not what happens and uh, to bring out the yellow card it's I feel like that's a little bit too much it's a 50-50 ball that the goalie comes out to get and Baldwin goes after it as well nothing wrong with that but the referee decides that I guess it was a malicious tackle towards the keeper but yeah I don't know but now there have been two yellow cards shown in this one and 20 minutes now to go in this second half. Badgers still lead one to nil. Hopefully uh, the Badgers don't, you know, take that as a, a point, you know, because you just see Windsor with a more sense of urgency, you know, getting the ball up more. And Brock with more frustration. They're playing with a little bit more frustration and a little bit more, you know, not getting the cause you want gives you that. And, you know, fatigue with that and everything. Hopefully they just keep that focus that they've been playing with throughout. Ball will go on out again, and the Badgers will have another throw in. And you know, 20 minutes left, it's just Brock is trying to get their first one of the season here. I, 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 I want to see a little bit more, you know, even though the they already have that one goal advantage, a second goal would just cushion that for them, you know, and I want to see them attack a little bit more to try and get that. You know, I know the ref has been a little a little uh, selective with his calls, you know, been holding his whistle more than you would like to. But Brock has to continue to apply pressure and continue to continue to move as, as uh, there's another substitution in the game now. And they need another ball as well as the ball got kicked on out, but... Looks like they're going to get one nice and quickly here. Yeah. Beaker on this throw in. Fantastic yes. job over there by how was the Badgers Conforton to come flying in and take that ball. Yes, and you know, that's something that they have to continue doing. I, I, that pressure has to be applied throughout these last 18 minutes, you know. To bring out that win, you, you have to play at 100% throughout it, the, the full 90 minutes. Not a minute could be salvaged. ball whoa I I don't know about that one I, I, I don't even I have no words on that one to be honest we're in the booth we're we're over here and we've seen the handball so I don't know uh, I don't particularly know about that one to be honest yeah, it looked like a handball against the Lancers I, I center know. back Kyle Burren but referee oh. again doesn't see it the same here's Solomon Solomon Yo. now he gets taken down called the handball on Solomon and he calls a handball on Solomon uh, I mean I don't know I, like if I was the ref I'm giving that call right there even though it wasn't a lot it was something I'm giving that call right there just because I missed that handball that was supposed to turn into a penalty I mean Go that one gets blocked in front. Fantastic job by the the ref Badgers got him. And the referee took one right in the schnoz. <laughs> Badgers maybe extracted some revenge there. Yeah, you know that frustration it, it it comes out a little bit, but they 
just going to resume play there. But you want to, there's just 16 minutes left, 17 minutes left. And, you know, uh, you see the Brock defenders moving a little slower than they should. But the attackers, they, that's, that's good to see, though. The attackers are still attacking, but it's that defense for me. I don't want Windsor to come back and equalize the game. And these, uh, the Windsor uh, attackers have had an extra burst of speed these last few minutes for some reason. They've been creating plays and they've been creating opportunities for themselves right now. Windsor will continue to try and move it forward. Fuentes comes back and takes it for the Badger. Fuentes will hit Balden. Fuentes has, gets stripped of the ball and Deeker made a good run forward for the Windsor answers. And the Badgers will Man, take Pat, advantage. Pat. Come on, yeah. Now the ball will finally be called back. And it's getting chippy out there as you see players just shoving each other, get on the ball. It's these, these two teams do not like each other. It's been a fantastic game here at the Alumni Field. As Deeker gets subbed off to the... Uh, Amusement of the entire Brock faithful as they cheer as he gets taken off. You know, hearing some uh, cheers from the Windsor faithful. But you know, still not loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> May will play that one on up. Well done in the air for the Badgers. And Fuentes looking over the top for Solomon. Solomon. Solomon will have a go again and just couldn't quite keep it down and get over that one, but he has had a plethora of chances here so far today, especially in this second half. Yeah, he just needed to get his head up on that play. He just, I don't think he's seen the net on that play. I think he just seen ball and he's like, you know what, let me just first time it, you know, and it's a good strategy to have, but just get your head up and get a, get a better look at net when you're getting it in there. Badgers continue to move it on forward. There's Ooh. a go from a long way out, and boy, did Bucciante ever get a lot of that one. Yeah, they're starting to pile up on the shots, Brock is, and Windsor as well. They're getting, oh, they're getting their chances. They're going to get down the field, and that's both defenses getting a little tired. Which defense is going to, you know, let up first? That's hold down in the box, and somehow there is no penalty call. Yeah, I don't know about that one, honestly. That was. Wow. Again, another questionable call in the offensive end for the Badgers, right in the penalty box. And the referee is safe to keep his uh, whistle in his uh, pocket. Yeah, I don't know about that one, you know, it's, I don't know if he doesn't want to allow another penalty to go, but that one seemed, that one seemed like a penalty right there to me. Again, Windsor will have a goal kick. As the Badgers continue to press and press and press in this second half. Unable to break through so far though in the second half, they still lead one to nothing. Alden going after that ball in the offensive end, and Windsor will try to safely move it on out of their own end. But you just feel something coming from this Brock team, from both offenses, honestly. You don't see the defenses holding up for... straight out of play and the Badgers will take possession of the ball with 12 minutes left in this second half. They lead still by one. Oh, nice, nice. That was a nice throw in. Tight spot for a throw in right there. As the Badgers continue to battle for that ball and 
comes out right in front of us here. Robinson plays it back. Tough one, nice one touch passes as it comes to Baldwin. Uh, right over towards Solomon, Solomon. Oh. I feel like that's, that's uh. Again, it almost looked as though the goal goalkeeper uh, obstructed Solomon from getting to the ball that he had chipped around him. But again, the referee seems content to put the whistle oh. away. As there we go. What a fantastic nice. tackle. Nice, nice, As Stuart Luke nice. comes in and denies his man. Beautiful. at the beginning of the game are getting through now but that recovery by that Brock defense is you know that's what's going to keep us at, with this one uh, one nothing lead that you know just recovery that pressure continuous pressure having that you know not stopping but fatigue is always a factor and you know you could see it on both sides there's just over 10 minutes left now in this second half a fantastic entertaining game here at alumni field I see a goal coming in these 10 minutes. I don't know why I feel it. There's the ball that somehow gets on through, but he is well offside. Mm. Good call there by the linesman. And just hopefully Brock continues to, you know, uh, Wednesday's uh, passing game on the ground especially has uh, definitely ramped up and uh, gotten better as the game went on. And, you know, the, the defense against it has definitely been a little bit more lax as the game went on. And, you know, 10 minutes to go, this is the spot where Brock, um, you know, uh, conceded their goal against Western uh, that last game under 10 minutes. So this is the spot where it's most critical for the defense, where the other attacking team that is trying to get back into the game is, you know, uh, counterattacking, counterattacking. And you have to hold your own. That's the key to the game, hold your own. Ion Thomas, he gets taken down there, 40 yards out. And there will be a foul called against the Lancers. With nine and a half to go in this. Holding its own as well. You know, even though they let that uh, that first lapse, uh, which led to a penalty, but they've held their own throughout uh, after the penalty and just a lot of chances that could have turned into a goal that weren't. All then after that ball for the Badgers, and they're going to call it a corner, I believe. If they will, they'll call it a corner for in favor of the Badgers. And I think we're going to see one of them trick plays. You know, the women ran it earlier and uh, where they don't have anybody near the goalkeeper and they just run out. I like seeing these plays. Hopefully it results in a goal. And the kick is in and nobody can get to it for the batters, but Ion Tomasi is there to corral it at the top of the 18, plays it on back. Fuentes here on this right side, moves it into the middle. Curls it oh, towards ball. his man, but Confortin can't quite keep it on in, and that ball will go on out. Just too much power on the back of that ball, but that was a beautiful ball. If it had just less power, that would have been a goal or a beautiful opportunity for a goal. Fernandez will steal that pass. Hand it on back for Kariuki. He plays it for Robinson. Robinson, Fernandez again, and that ball will roll on out in favor of the Lancers. Their field is much. So when the ball did come on their, uh, to their side of their field, they just, they just handled it perfectly. And, you know, that's what I want to see the offense do a little bit more. Just because the game's over doesn't mean it's not even over. There's still seven minutes to go. You have to continue to uh, attack, and you know you have to continue to put pressure on because Windsor's going to come back if you don't. And that ball will roll on out, and they're going to give the ball to the Badgers.
Wind starting to pick up here. Temperature starting to drop here at Alumni Field in St. Catharines. Badgers still lead one to nothing. That would have been a beautiful backfield pass if it had got on through for Baldwin, who would have been in and on goal, but nothing doing. Six minutes and change to go in this second half. Fuentes will control that ball, hand it off for Baldwin. Baldwin, Fuentes again, looking for Ian Thomas. -y. Now Windsor will try to mount a comeback here. That ball somehow gets on through the Badgers defense, but they're there to clear away the scraps. Again, Fernandez pressuring that ball from this near side. It's Oates for the Lancers. He was looking for Magliaro, but Magliaro does a good job of taking it. up for 90 minutes and most of these players look like they've gotten a little bit of fatigue. Brock just has to hold their own defensively. You know, now it's, you know, the last stretch, uh, just under six minutes to go. So Brock has to just hold their own defensively. You know, you don't need another goal to win the game. You're up one nothing. Hold this result. May with the gold kick. Hasn't really been tested much today, but when he's been needed, he's been there. Yeah, made some great saves today. Now coming down that left wing fast, that's Dante Heron. Heron stops up, looking for someone to hand it off to. He does. As Agapinto, uh, well out by the Badgers. Fernandez Agapito comes in and steals it, but promptly gives it right back. The Badgers will start to move out on out. But you see that little burst of speed, energy that the, the attackers had in the first half that they would usually, you know, get to pressure the ball at this stage and just, you know, try and get the ball back and get a counterattack going on their own. They're not doing it anymore, you know, you just see it on the fatigue. Like, that's just them being a little tired. They can't, you know, pressure the ball, try and get to fight the ball back like a defender and then run with it like an offensive player again. It's hard to do. Ah. Wow, so yeah. you got hit. Pretty blatantly, good call by the referee, and he saw that one all the way. He's just holding, yeah, yeah. I feel like, you know, that, that style of game should have been. So, so, I mean, four minutes left. Brock is looking, searching for their first win here. And um, that offensive pressure, yeah, it'll take a little bit off of your defense. But that counterattack, I like that they're keeping four men back on their defense now. It was three men before when it was. That was beautiful. Who a wait? Beautiful cross from Puentes and Bachianti gets his head on it and the Badgers take the lead. That was Pardon just me add to their lead. That was just a beautiful cross in from almost half. I mean, wow. I mean, wow. And just that cushion, that two nil cushion now, it's you know, three minutes left and Shirley Brock got their first win of the year. You know, it must feel good to get that last goal in, that second goal in right there. Especially because Windsor was moving with such force in these last 10 minutes, you know, with such decisiveness. It looked like they were going to get an equalizer, if not, you know. Um, but that was just a beautiful goal. Whoa. From Played almost great half. Great job there from both of them. As the Badgers add to their lead and cushion it, they're up 2-0. you know and that's something they do you know offensively and defensively they just fight and I feel like they, they deserve that goal they you know a lot of calls didn't go their way you know a few penalty calls that could have been penalty calls here and there but neither here nor there that's the game and that's how that's how it's played and you know now it's two nothing with just two minutes left to go Brock is definitely thinking that they locked up their first one of the season here Badgers will make a substitution here and it will be I believe Balden going on off and can't quite see who's coming on to replace him. 
and that uh, appears to be Jacob Gray, Gayer, who has come on to uh, replace Baldwin. And just, you know, today's game in itself, you know, uh, Brock did everything well, you know, uh, throughout the game, they control possession well, they can, they pass the ball well, not a lot of mistakes, you know, they made a few mistakes here and there, which would have turned costly if Windsor would have, you know, capitalized here and there, but mistakes are made and, but they recovered, you know, and oh, nice ball. Whoa. Nice ball searching for Robinson. Robinson, he does well to keep it in momentarily, then gets tackled hard. I mean, that one's going to go on out, and the Badgers will. Windsor gets the ball. But I mean, it's one minute left, and Brock is still playing with such fierce, uh, with such pressure. I, I, I like to see that. You know, you're up to nothing, and you're still not putting off your foot off the gas pedal. That's what. little bit more lax they they weren't lax at all they they kept going they kept fighting and they got that second goal it took a whole next 45 minutes but they got that that next goal it's called a foul against wow. the badgers as we are into the final minute in this game wow uh, again I mean, we are unsure of how much time will be added for injuries and stoppages but gotta think not too much time and you could just see the Brock players, you know, arguing with the, the referees there. They're just frustrated. They're getting the bad end of the calls. I mean, that's just, it's such a, that's such a costly call right there. Look at the position, the balls. That, that's such a, it could turn into a goal, you know. It's just the bad position for Brock to be extra time. It's not something that they would want to do. It's just frustrating. Two nothing up. All you could do is, you know. Tanner Page looks over this one. It will be Page. He'll ah, have a go yes. right into the wall. Nice. That defensive, that, that whole defensive five back for Brock has just been phenomenal tonight. That defensive back should just, hands up to them. They just defended, even with the fatigue. They're still defending uh, with at a high clip, you know. You know, just disrupting everything, pressuring everything. No ball gets into the box without pressure. And that's just what good defensive teams do. And that's what Brock's doing here tonight. Not much of, not much time to give to get an equalizer or even a goal. Fernandez makes a play with the back of his head. I see he's got a man streaking down that left side, but he'll hold on to it for a moment. Plays it all the way out wide. What a nice pass for Gayer. Mm. The batter still corralling it deep in the uh, Windsor end. You know, having that, having that fight, having that that want to win, you know, this is what it is. And this is non-stop, non-stop attack, non-stop everything. You're up to nothing and it's extra time and they're still attacking. They still have a corner. They still have a throw in. Like that is, that is winning. That is winning football right there. Robinson tries to put it in the middle and Rachianti will go after it too. And a couple of players will go down in the corner. They're gonna give the ball to Windsor, however. Wind has really started to pick up in these uh, last few moments. But for Brock, they did. They played defense well tonight. They played that defensive pressure that they kind of let up um, last game. Because last game against Winston, they played they played well defensively throughout the game. But it was just that last ten minutes where they kind of let up, and it was uh, uh, you know that late that late goal. But they let up. They let up uh, defensively tonight, and uh, I mean, they did not let up defensively tonight. And the that midfield uh, play. You know, just doing the work. Just doing the work here. Uh, number nine, Michael uh, Michael Solomon. Player of the game, in my opinion, created opportunities for his teammates and just uh, uh, continued to do that throughout the whole game. 
You know, Brock gets their first one of the season here, and it's it's a good one. It's a good one. It's two nothing against the a rival. It, it must feel good for the the players. You know how it came, dominating that whole game from start to finish. Um, especially when you're talking about you know possession wise, you know not letting them eat, uh, feel any uh, air defensively, and then uh, offensively uh, uh, on the attack. Brock was just getting anything they wanted and everything they wanted. All those shots, they were getting all of them, and. It was just a great, 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 great game for the Brock Mens tonight. So at the end of this one. Back next time for more OUA men's soccer action. Have a fantastic evening.